Yeah! Yeah! Uh, I feel like I gotta wake up every time I do a video. I gotta wake up, gotta shake off the shake off the day, you feel me? So anyway, while I'm waking up, y'all better wake y'all punk ass up, man. What's happening with it? It's your boy Mike Rich. Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Y'all might be wondering why I'm on the left side of the screen. Or it'll be the left or the right. When I flip it, it'll probably be the right. On the right side of the screen. <laughs> and I'm leaving this space right here. I'm going to talk about a couple of shoes. I got to turn that L back on. I don't know why it's hot in Atlanta today, bro. 67 degree, man. Get a little warm, shot. A little warm. Anyway, my boy got the whole Adidas fit. With the UNC ones on, my people still do that. I feel like he hurt me a little bit at the end though when I got loud. But I got a whole Adidas three stripes down the side of his leg with the uh Jordan One UNCs, the, the all new buck joint, the suede that came out a few years ago. Hey man, do what you do. The Adidas outfit, black, the shoe, blue, that ain't even no big pro. You can do that if you want to, but why you got them three strikes on with them J? Hey, man, I don't know, man. I talked about that too long. Anyway, let's go. People still do that, hey, man. More, more power to you, you feel me? The sun is in my eyes. I ain't got no shades in here, man. I ain't got no shades in here. I don't have no shades. I got my shades in the other car. So anyway, a couple of shoes I want to talk about. I'm at the mall. I'm going to go in there. If it's not nothing new or nothing introspective to talk about, I don't know if that's the right word to you, but if it ain't nothing in there to talk about, we ain't gonna go in there, you feel me? Um, I mean, we're not gonna film it, I'm going in there regardless, but I ain't gonna record nothing in there. But, a couple of things I wanna talk about. Number one, I knew this shoe was coming, it was a rumor that this shoe was coming, but I ain't know 100%. I was checking out my guy, uh, uh, Z Sneakerhead, shout out to Z Sneakerhead. He, him and a lot of other places they posted my squeaky Jordan 13 Flint video. It's almost at a million um, views on my Instagram, bro. Like my highest view video, uh, real. Real quick, that Jordan 13 Flint. One of my favorite shoes of all time, bro. But bro, listen. Bro. The nigga I be making it noise, shawty. I'm finna have to sell these hoes. All the damn noise they making. I don't try powder and everything, bro. Man, hell no. That thing got like 960 some thousand views on, on my Instagram. And on his IG, it got like 600 in less than a day or 700,000, something like that. Probably more than that now. And um, a lot of people posting it, bro. I'm seeing it on Twitter and everything. So it, it's crazy. You read down my comments, everybody talking about the shoe. Well, not everybody, but nine sneakerheads, nine Jordan 13 lovers, they saying the shoe fake. It's hilarious. And I, at, at first, when I started seeing it, I was like, man, go check it. I got a YouTube channel. Go check. I did a whole video picking the shoe up from the mall and did a vlog and they ate one. And then after a while, I started saying, man, I don't even care. Just watch it. I'm 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 digging the attention it's getting right now. I don't even care if y'all think they fake. I know they a one. And next thing you know, people start uh, arguing amongst themselves in the comments about um if the shoe real or fake. Like now nah, all join 13 do that. I got the same shoe. Matter of fact, if they don't squeak, them things ain't real. Hey, talking about the squeak is how you know them guys fake. Like I'm seeing all this in the comments and it's just hilarious. But speaking of that, like I said, I even I the only reason I even mentioned uh Z Sneakerhead shout out to him is because he posted Jordan 6 Olympic guys drive. Like I said, I've been knowing about the rumors, but when my guy say something dropping, that mean it dropping. Shout out to Z Sneakerhead. The Jordan 6 Olympic. If y'all can remember some of my early videos, I had that shoe. And since then, they fixed the sizing on Jordan 6s. Them shoes fit big as hell. I had a whole space. It's crazy how some shoes I have room in. But like these KD Galaxies that's coming up this weekend or tomorrow, I got to go a whole size up. Well, they don't even make them in 12 and a half, so I'm going to go a whole size up in that shoe. And some people saying they fit true to size. I, I always go with the size up in Nike basketball. My my Kobe's, my LeBron's, anything that's like a up-to-date Nike basketball shoe that's not a Jordan or a retro or something like that, I go a size up 
at least half a size to a whole size up if I can. But them Jordan 6 Olympics was fitting big as hell in the toe. My foot was sliding around them and they was my true size 12. So since they fixed the Jordan 6 sizing and they dropping these again, hopefully they still have that buttery, buttery, buttery premium love on them guy. You feel me? Because I want them in the collection again, man. One of the freshest Air Jordan 6s. I think, who, who wore them? Did Ray Allen wear those in the, in the Olympics or something like that? That's what I want to say. Ray Allen rocked them whole, but fresh Air Jordan. I love that color blocking, that Carmine type color blocking. When they fill in the little side panels with another color and it kind of two-toned the Jordan 6 out. I love that kind of Jordan 6. My favorite Jordan 6 is the black infrared, which is a whole solid color, but I love when they do these too, and I love when they put that buttery love on them, man. So that y'all comment below if y'all want the Air Jordan Six Olympic. Y'all going after them? Um, when they supposed to drop? I think later this year. I don't know exactly when. I saw the release date and I forgot it that quick. But when they come out, you best believe that I'm gonna be on the lookout. And that's a must cop for this year. Also, I want to talk about. Um, I'm gonna talk about the big, the big thing, the elephant in the room last. But before I went, before I get into that, I'm gonna speak on the. Air Jordan 2 low, Jordan 2 3. What? I got a couple of things to say about this. First thing is, why y'all keep mixing up shoes, man? Anytime you mix more than one retro up to me, I'm going to call it an Air Jordan. Nothing. I'm automatically going to call them guys an Air Jordan Nathaniel, man. Nathaniel, Air Jordan, Nathaniel. I'm automatically gonna call it that. You feel me? But I will say number two, they clean. I ain't gonna buy them, but that Jordan three bottom look really, really clean on the bottom of a Jordan two. I ain't even gonna lie. I, I was looking at it and I was trying to hate it because I hate when they put two Jordans together, three Jordans together, mishmash, mixed up, jambalaya on shoe, but. That Jordan 3 bottom look fire as hell on Jordan 2. The only way I copied is they, they was originally like that. I know that's kind of like, I know that's kind of like hypocritical to say the shoe fire, but I don't want to get it because it's two Jordans mixed together. But the Jordan 3 bottom on the Jordan 2 does look dope. I wish they would have originally dropped it like that, then brought the Jordan 3 out. I don't know. Maybe we would have said the 3 is copying out the 2 or something like that. I don't know what we would have said. I just know it don't look bad on them, man. The the main thing that made people like, not like the Jordan 2s, I think, is the midsole and the outsole because it kind of rounds it out and make it look like that bowling shoe. I think the Jordan 3 bottom takes away the bowling effect and kind of just give it a Jordan sneaker look to it. I don't know. But anyway, the third thing I want to talk about before I go off in the mall and see if it's anything. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Got the pipes on that thing, huh? I don't know yet. Sound like you're right behind me. Um, last thing I want to talk about is the elephant in the room, the big ass. Dumbo elephant with the with the trunk and the big old floppy ears and everything is the Air Jordan Three. Uh, black cements will be dropping for holiday this year. I think they say holiday. Reimagine now for all the people that's talking about they're gonna be suede. Man, don't 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 speak that into existence, man. I don't want no all suede. I mean, I like suede Jordan Threes. I got suede Jordan Three. I just rocked the Justin Timberlake uh Tinker Tinker alternates the other day. Fresh ass shoe on feet. I like um I like uh chlorophyll Jordan 3s. I like suede Jordan 3s, but if you're doing a black cement Air Jordan 3, which is if y'all don't know by now is my favorite colorway in the Air Jordan 3, the black cement's my all-time favorite colorway in the Air Jordan 3. You gotta go with the buttery leather. Make it reimagined in another way. Y'all know I don't even care if they do vintage style, look like the shoe has been dug up out of a time capsule or something like that. Make that guy look like that. I don't care, but do not put suede on that Jordan 3, man, with that black cement colorway, man. Y'all already did the leather swap with the Jordan 4s on the breads. Please, I I, I, I implore you. What you. What's the word? I don't, even, I don't even know if I said that right. But please do not put suede on the Air Jordan 3 uh, black cements, man. I don't want to see it, but I'm pretty sure with everybody seeing stuff early, there's a holiday release that's going to probably be mass produced like these uh, fours that we done seen hella early. We saw these fours like so many months ago. It's ridiculous. I'm sure we're going to get an early look at that shoe and um, 
We're going to get our real opinions on it, man. So that's all I want to talk about. Y'all comment below. Tell me what y'all think about these things in the comments section below. And let's go into the model and see if they got anything. Like I said, fresh off work, random Wednesday. Well, it's not technically random. It's Valentine's Day. So it might be a lot of people in here buying last minute balloons and, um, and, and, and flowers and chocolate boxes and all that stuff like that. I don't know. I do stuff with my wife all the time. I gave a $100 Starbucks gift card, which I do every week. I gave her flowers, which I do all the time. And, you know... Valentine's Day, it is what it is. That's for people with girlfriends and boyfriends. I don't know if that's for husband and wives. If anybody still do that, no offense to you, but you know what I'm saying? It, it, we do stuff for each other all the time, man. It's called love. Love is 24-7, not just one day out of the year. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's a quote from the love doctor. Do y'all remember that remember that episode of Martin when he was the love doctor and he um, inadvertently hooked up Pam and uh, Tommy by mistake. Hilarious episode. His reaction when he found out they was together, boy. And how excited Gina was to tell him, bro. How excited when Gina found out first that Tommy and Pam was hooking up because of Martin calling himself the love doctor. The Her excitement probably stole the show how excited she was to tell Martin. Anyway, y'all YouTube there to check it out. It's hilarious. Let's go check out and see what they got in the mall, man. Do it. I guess the, um... Women's ones drop today. Gold things. Gold and white. Gun bottle. I did the review in here earlier already. Uh, JD Sports got them. Clean, man. Y'all come below. Any women when they got these or any dudes when they got these, come below and let me know, man. If y'all mess with them, gold Air Jordan 1 OG High buttery leather, uh, patent leather. Uh, Jordan Wands, let your boy know. Dress it up and make it real for me. He's talking about the pink, pink F01. Were well, they supposed to be Valentine's Day? Because the pink on the swoosh and the ass, pink on the ass is hilarious. Anyway, it's pinker than the rest of the shoe, so two tone pink Valentine Heart F01. Let me know. They're $115. I know they ain't put the. Reimagine vintage lost and found vibes on the legacy 312 aka Nathaniel guys. It's crazy uncle on this camera these two this look like a different red than this but in my, when I'm looking at it in hand it don't look different. That's crazy bro. This camera is picking up something that I ain't even seeing on the shoe like these this red right here look darker than this red but I'm looking at it with my eyes and it don't look like that. Anyway then they try to do vintage midsole elephant print like this is like a whole bunch of shoes put together and then a whole bunch of colorways and themes and um and ideas that they had in the past all put into one air jordan nathaniel bro and then they hit us with the paris guys bro not the paris not the paris jordan nathaniels they really melted the drum brand really had a hit with the like i talk about this shoe but I see a lot of people buying the E, bro. Like, they knew what to do. They knew what combination to put together to get a hit, especially during COVID. E right here was these. I think I think around COVID time, or before, right before right before pandemic era, these right here was like selling out, bro. The Legacy Nathaniels. Here you talking about. They hit you with a Royal Legacy Nathaniel. They hit you with a patent leather New Orleans Saint <laughs> color. And they hit you with the Steelers. And then like these are the, one of the original colors that they did in the e. And I use that term original uh, very loosely. Something y'all probably ain't seen. And it's the Air Jordan One Low Spizite. Guys, I ain't gonna count the colorway. It's super clean, boy. I do not like Spizites. Sam, I am. I do not like Spizites with green eggs and ham. I don't know. <laughs> this colorway stupid though. This colorway look like it would be on a collab, bro. Like this remind me of something like Don C or, or even Travis. Like I don't know, bro. It's like a Houston kind of vibe to it. I love the colorway. I love the materials. I love the colorway. I just don't like the silhouette. I don't like them mixing foes, threes, and uh, fives together. Never been a fan of Spizzikes. Shout out to Spike Lee. There you go, right there, Spike Lee, aka uh, Mars Blackman, right there in the back. But um, the shoe itself, like I said, put this on a Jordan 3 and make it look like this. Put this on a Jordan 5 or Jordan 4 and make it look like this. Meshing them all together, never been my thing. But honestly, I would not be mad or talk. No kind of mess to nobody that's rocking these, bro, because the colorways pop. And it, it, the materials pop, but in my honest opinion, 
they just a notch above them Legacy 312s I was just showing. They still Air Jordan Nathaniels, in my opinion. Just in my opinion. And they got another colorway. I saw this one online, the blue one, but I ain't see this one right here. They got like a dirty bread cement uh, colorway going on on these. Oh, that's a missed opportunity by not making it the uh, Mars Blackman bread. Um, I don't know why they do that in like white or gray or whatever that is, but I don't know. Y'all let me know. Y'all mess with the dirty bread um, three, four, five, sixes, aka Jordan Spizzite. I don't know. Comment below and let me know. And they're hitting us with the UNC nothings, uh, true, true nothings. See, you're talking about. Yeah, man. So that was the swift, quick little mall vlog. I ain't go crazy in there because I ain't want to keep showing y'all the same stuff that y'all and already seen in my videos. Don't be, well, don't want to be repetitive. You feel me? But All Star Weekend, man. It used to be an event, especially in like the mid to late 90s, bro. Me and all my cousins and my brother, we used to all get together and just, you know, get snacks and drink and shit. We don't even know we were drinking. We was, we was in the 90s. We definitely weren't drinking, but we get snacks and like beverages, like <laughs> sodas and stuff like that. And we'll watch uh, probably a little, another extracurricular activity to, you know, get make the munchies a little bit better. And we'll watch the, um, we used to watch the game, the uh, dunk contest. we get together and watch. We don't know if we got together and watched the All-Star game. I think me and, my, me and my brother watched the All-Star game. But me and my cousins and my homeboys and stuff like that, we used to get together and watch the dunk contest and go crazy and over-exaggerate over the dunks and all that stuff. It was real fun, man. I miss them days. We ain't really did that too much lately. I might have to bring that back, bro. Like I said, I ain't really got a, my circle ain't big as it used to be in a lot of my family. They done kind of, they kind of with their families and doing their own thing. So I ain't really got a pot, lot of partners like that to link up with. But I don't know how to, might have to bring that back. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy, I enjoy actually, cause like when there's more people, it, it make it a little bit more, when everybody making commentary, not everybody moved it to Twitter. Like people, every time they see a dunk, they tweet what they thought of the dunk or, you know, something like that. Um, and then like some of them became watered down because like a lot of the dunks is just, they just ain't impressive like that no more. I see better dunks on like little I, dunk IG and TikToks and stuff like that when they be doing like amateur dunking. I see better dunks in, on that than I see, like I follow this thing called Dunkonomics on um, Instagram and I see better dunks on that than I see in the uh, dunk contest for the NBA. So. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all can take some notes from them boys, man. Anyway, <clears throat> one more thing I want to say about the uh, Jordan 3 Reimagine that's supposed to be coming out this holiday season. I saw a lot of comments of people saying that it's too soon. But these bread foils was too soon, if you ask me. A lot of this stuff is too soon. Next thing you know, we're going to have a Reimagine Jordan 6 Black and for Red. I think with that one, they need to, if they're going to do that, they need to go with the, the one that has it's been a longer time since it's dropped and do the white infrared. Do a reimagined white infrared. Give us some real nice buttery leather or something. Something like that. I don't know. So y'all come below and let me know what y'all think about this continued reimagined series. Are they doing too much? Should they quit or should they just reimagine everything and give us another take on all these shoes? They're going to do it anyway whether we want to or not, but I still want to know y'all opinion. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon. Oh, I had a little auto tune right there. <laughs> Keep watching my video, cause that's what I'm here for. Gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rock money now. What up, Mike? Hey, we was up before, bro. Now we up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch me go scoop the Ladera. Check out my kiss in apparel. Rich like a king of fairy, yeah. <laughs> Captain, they callin' me jet like I'm Sparrow East Atlanta in my blood, the streets got me twin like Tia Tamara, yeah Watch out with the Camaro, stay out my lane, is too narrow God more, God more, stay and bless, I'm keeping my eye on the Sparrow Man of the people you did, they singin' my name just like it's a carol Cause my got the juice by the barrier, yeah. I can't really help it, bro, they know that I'm the ish, yeah Catch me boss of sauce and might just pull up right at wish, yeah LBRG me, now I'm Gucci
just cannot, I, 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 I just cannot.